Hey there, Krauffen here. So, I, this is my second video that I'm making about the Fantasia Film Festival. Uh, in this one, I'm going to be talking about the movie I saw on Friday. Uh, just to give you a retrospect, today is uh, Sunday. So, the movie I saw was called Hunted by Vincent Parano. Um, it is a joint sort of uh, film production with, uh, I believe, I mentioned, I mentioned Belgium, France. Uh, it might even be the UK, but I'm not 100% certain. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have an IMDb, so it's hard to actually do a research on this film. Um, so I don't, I don't, I'm not going to start naming actors or anything. To be honest with you, unless you're into uh, foreign cinema, you might not recognize them. At least I didn't, but I'm, I, I, I'm not the type of person who recognizes actors unless they're like huge actors or they're people who have been in tons of movies I love, like Bruce Campbell, for example. But, um, anyways, let's get to the movie. Uh, the movie is actually, it's probably, like, right, I've seen, uh, so Reckoning, Hunted, uh, watch four movies now. We're going to be watching a fifth and sixth one tonight. Um, this is so far my favorite. Uh, just to give you an idea, the story is something that is pretty grounded in reality. I feel like it's something that could actually happen. Uh, it's about a... The, this girl, she's, a, from what I can tell, seems to be working on construction in the sense that she's, like, getting, she's, like, in charge of setting up deals with construction companies. That is kind of hazy on w what she actually does for a job. Uh, and it's very real in the sense that she's just, she, she decides to go to a bar uh, on her, she's out of country, actually, I believe. I'm sorry if you hear my cats in the background, they're being weird. Um, and she decides to go to a bar, um, not planning on doing anything, and she meets this, this one guy, starts hitting on her, and then this other guy comes in, sort of, she doesn't like that guy, and this other guy comes in, sort of saves her, she seems to have a good time with him, she decides to go to his car with him, uh, and then this other guy, who he claims is his brother originally, just kind of shows up, and they, then him and his accomplice drive off, um, the main character, the main villain is never named, uh, and anyways, so they were, so I can't really name him. I think he's just called the Charming Man, if I remember correctly. Um, and so they sort of drive off, and something happens, and she manages to escape. Um, and then it becomes a sort of cat and mouse game in the woods uh, between her, that guy, the Charming Man, and his accomplice. Um, the and those are the sort of three main characters. They do meet some other people in the movies, but they're not the main characters. And it's kind of funny. I can't tell you anyways, because there's going to be sort of spoiler territory. But all sorts of weird hijinks happen with other people that show up. And there's a couple of really, really great um, kill shots, as well as uh, just intense moments in the movie. Sorry if my hands are hurt. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, but there's a couple of really, really intense movies and moments in the movie. Um, the main villain, the charming man, as they call him, uh, that's, he's one of the biggest pieces of shit I've ever seen, like, the, the actor portrays him really well, uh, he's, uh, the, the, you can't hate that guy more, he's clearly some, playing, like, a psychopath, he's, has no emotions, uh, he's, it's just, um, I, I can't praise the, the acting that guy did, like, I, that, I, like, that guy is, if I, if I met that guy, it would be the most terrifying moment of my life, um, and the the accomplice is kind of like you you almost feel bad for him uh because he's even though like he's an asshole too and he's planning on murdering her or seemingly murdering her as well uh he's so incompetent and that the guy he's he's helping and treats him like so badly and throughout the entire movie almost um there's a lot of funny moments well i don't know if they were supposed to be funny but i i laughed at them uh but honestly i would give that movie a 9 out of 10 um, it's, it's really enjoyable, it's really fun, uh, I, there, it's just so, so good, and I would suggest watching it, uh, there's another showing, I don't know the exact date, but if you can get tickets to it, because, oh my god, it's just way too good. Anyways, thanks for watching, and have a great day.